Chris again with uh, Auto Showcase Project. I'm here with Rich and his uh, Marlin. Now, Rich, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. With your permission, do you allow me to video record you and your car with my video camera? Yes, I do. Do you allow me to post a recorded video of you and your car onto YouTube.com? That is fine. So All right. So, uh, what's the year and make and model of your car? It's a 1967 AMC Marlin. It's uh, one of 2,500 built, approximately. It was built on an Ambassador chassis. It's basically a Marlin, which was built for three years. This is the last of the Marlins. It was built in 1965, 1966, and this is the 67. So it was the last of the three. It's totally different from the first two years. It was American Motors' first entree, shall we say, into the personal luxury slash sports car uh, business. It was not very successful. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, how many miles does this have? The mileage on the car actually, believe it or not, has 140,000 miles on it, okay? It was used primarily as my car. I bought it in high school from the third owner, and it was five years old at the time. I've owned it now 40 years hence. I used it as a car for about 10 years, regular, everyday driver, and then I retired it. At that point, it had about 140,000 on it. I took it and restored it, took it to a body shop, replaced a lot of the panels. Back in the day in the 70s when I did this, the uh, uh, items were still available for the car. Now they're not. But uh, beyond that, it's got a 25 or 30 year old paint job on it. And uh, it's restored pretty much back to the way it was in 1967. Nice. nice. I don't know. Am I making any sense? <laughs> Stop. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, so, uh, what's the engine? All right. Well, you want me to do the old walk around here? All right. Yeah. Laura, you're going to have to. No, you can't. You're not rolling at the moment, are you? You are. <laughs> yeah. All right. Excuse me. Oh wow. What kind of engine is this? This is a 232 six cylinder straight six. It was developed in 1964 by American Motors and it was used all the way up through the Chrysler years as a Jeep engine. All the way up to the original version of this, still made up until the 1990s. Oh wow. What kind of restorations did you put into here? The engine was rebuilt back in the 1970s, so uh, it's essentially unchanged. I've painted up a few items just to uh, you know, make it more presentable. The only modification to the engine has been a Protronix electronic ignition. It fits into the original uh, setup, so it doesn't look like they even have one. Mm -hmm. But it uh, is much better than a points condenser system. What kind of transmission does this have? The transmission is nothing to write home about. It's a automatic on the column made by Borg Warner uh, called a Flash O Matic. And uh, it is built in West Germany back in the 60s before the Germans learned how to build an automatic transmission. Wow. So it is not the world's best transmission. Take a quick front shot. Nice. Okay, two try. Second number. What kind of performance does this have? Five, Very standard zero, performance. Nine, three, it has nine, a, a two-barrel carburetor. Five, it's rated zero, at nine, 155 three, nine, horsepower. Three. Probably going downhill. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> This has a lot of history. Do you mind to start it up? Sure. I got pulled over.
It's always purred since day one. Now what's the interior like? The interior has been roughly modified a little bit since the original car was built. It's mm -hmm. got the an original style ambassador interior. They use this in the Marlin. It wasn't in this car specifically, but it is original materials. It's you know these this was taken from another parts car that I uh, had purchased over the years. So it's uh, the original vinyl with all of the pleated uh, details. And the console is, it's a fake console. I wanted the console for appearance. It has a, a, a position for a shifter, which I don't have, because it has a column automatic. Now, is this actual wood? Right here, actual wood? No, it's uh, fake vinyl uh, okay. wood grain. That was typical of the 1960s. Very nice. Um, so this is going to uh, be in. Um, you're gonna. Your daughter's gonna inherit this car. Yes, that's that's the rumor. Okay. My daughter is 17 years old. She's not old enough to drive it because a uh, uh, classic or antique car, you have to be 25 years old. So she has yet to drive the car, but. She's waiting for me to uh, enter into the nursing home so she can take it. Don't I get first, first dibs? <laughs> don't I get first dibs since I'm older? No, no you don't. Oh. Um, what kind of braking system does this have? It's got manual drum brakes, nothing special. Okay. And are these original wheels? Those are original style wheel covers, yeah. Um, have you won any awards with this car? Uh, a few. I mean, it, it's a special interest car. If you go to an AMC only show, you have a better chance of winning. But as far as winning at a regular car show against all of the, uh, you know, resto mods and fancy schmancy expensive cars, I don't have a prayer. Oh wow! Okay. All right. And what's your uh, any uh, modifications to this, or just uh, just restore it along the way? Basically, I'm trying to keep it as original as possible. I would say it's about 98% original. I mean, there's slight modifications where needed because obviously the parts are very rare and hard to come by, so I've had to make a few little changes just because I had to. Oh, wow, okay. All right, I'm gonna do a 360 of this. Sure. Laura, how would you like to close the trunk? <laughs> This is a very, very nice car. Okay. But, uh, let me know when you you don't see yourself it. coming and going in this. Nope. <laughs> Alright, Rich, thank you for your time. Okay. Signing off.